This is the Lake Proctor Wilderness Area. It's in Seminole County in Florida. We're going to go on a hike. It's about uh, three miles or so. We're going to see some flora, fauna, and many interesting things. So come join us on this adventure. All right, let's take a look at the map here. They have uh, four trails. Um, and what we're going to focus on today, which uh, we're starting right here, we're going to do the orange trail, and then we're going to move up to the blue trail, which is the closest proximity to Lake Proctor. The red trail and yellow trail will have to be for another day. Okay, all trails start off here, following the uh, red trail as the main thoroughfare. And uh, right here at the beginning, we are passing through a uh, live oak uh, canopied forest here. Okay, this is where we are going to begin the orange trail. And this is a short, um, short loop, only 0 0.4 miles, and it's going to take us through some uh, marshy terrain, some wetlands. As we head along the orange trail, we see some uh, long leaf or slash pine. And here we are entering a very wide swath of saw palmetto, particularly here on the left side. Seems to stretch back pretty far. And we get our first glimpse of some wetlands here. We're going to get closer. I'll go as close as I can without getting my feet stuck. Good place to see gators and all sorts of uh, water birds, exotic birds. I think I saw the tiny, uh, tiny gators stirring about. Lots of lily pads. Here's another overlook. Starting to get kind of wet. Very uh, serene out here. And uh, continuing the orange trail through the scrub palmetto. And uh, here's a nice grove of. Uh, Longleaf pine. Okay, now this uh, tree right here, this is Dahoon Holly. And the berries are ripe right now. And pretty sizable tree. This is gallberry, and there's actually a few of these dark berries on the uh, shrub here.
another view of the pond here, and I see an anhinga, so I'm going to, and I usually don't mind people walking around, so I'm going to try to get up here, get a view of that anhinga. Beautiful specimen there, posing for us, taking in the sun and enjoying the nice cool air, just as we are. next to the anhinger. And so he's uh or she is in a uh, area of uh, lilies. This is named Eastbrook Wetlands, and it's named in honor of uh, Eastbrook Elementary School, second grade class in 1996. And this is where the Blue Trail Goes to the left, red trail continues front. And this will take us to Lake Proctor. A really nice uh, live oaks here with the Spanish moss draping. Glistening in the sun. It's a southern treasure to see this. It's on both sides. Not exactly a canopy. but still uh, spectacular. I just see above us. I'm catching a glimpse of another retention palm. It's uh, smaller than the one that we saw on the orange trail. Uh, part of the trail has a lot of uh, a lot of pine. It's very narrow. Is is a view of the slash pine towering above me, and there's some of the the long leaf visible here close to the ground. This is our first view of Lake Proctor. I'll take a chance going close to the shore. It's not a very large lake, but it's a beautiful lake. Uh, it actually seems to be a couple of houses on the shores, which I was not expecting. I thought it was going to be a complete wilderness. And while sitting on the bench, came across some tooth mitsaurus fern. Another view of Lake Proctor from the trail. Sometimes the trail opens up. Another open.
open view. The lilies in the foreground. And the pine straddle on the side of the lake. This part of the trail has a little bit more oak. Let's take a peek in here. It looks like the um, lake is flat. <laughs> Spider rub. Sorry. <laughs> Alright. It looks like it looks like the uh, lake actually is a little bit bigger and uh, and curves around. So I was looking at this section of the lake and now it does a uh, a right turn and it's uh, about double the size when you look at it from this perspective. So we'll continue the trail along this end of the lake. We're back on the blue trail. And we're heading away from the lake, which means that um, we're beginning our return trip, which um, well, should intersect with the red trail again. I was wrong the oh okay luckily luckily this spider is uh just a two feet taller than me and its web so i am able to dodge underneath it and uh as i was saying i was wrong the uh blue trail did swing around and we get another view of Lake Proctor. So we're going to see the very uh, north end of the, of the lake. That's as far as I can go. And it does actually uh, seem to keep moving to my right here, to the north. So we'll just keep following the blue trail and see where it leads us. And we have a uh, shelter here, and it gives our location on the map, Lake Proctor Wilderness Area. And uh, we started right here in the parking area. We followed the Orange Trail, and we followed the Blue Trail, all the way up to where we are now. So we're basically at the end of the, uh, the Blue Trail. And there's not much left, maybe another quarter mile or less okay and this is interesting these are okay these are uh, lichens these are uh, pixie cup lichens and they look kind of foamy spongy They also seem to have a little bit of a texture of the Spanish moss. I'm not going to touch them, but uh, yeah, it's a nice little cropping of, uh, of lichens. Get a close up there and see the intricacies of it. Okay, this uh, concludes our tour of the Lake Proctor uh, Wilderness, the uh, orange and blue trails. If you enjoyed uh, this trip with us, please click like and subscribe to our channel and we will see you on our next adventure.